Hey guys, before we get into the video, I just want to clarify one thing. My video software right now hates me. For those of you who let me know that the beginning of my last video was a little odd, I just want to prove it here. I went back and opened the file that I saved right before I formatted this video and it's there. The intro is there. See the evidence for yourself. Hello everybody and welcome back to Art of La Carte. In past videos, I've talked about different pets that I've owned, specifically different cats and dogs that I've had in my past. So I thought in today's video, it would be fun to share some of the other. Thank you guys for allowing me that slight rant onto today's video. Hey everybody, and welcome back to Art a la Carte. Today's video is a collaboration like none I have ever done. For those of you who are familiar with my videos will know automatically that drawing mermaids is not new for me. In fact, last May I drew a mermaid picture every single day. It's really not that different from other videos that I've done before. The reason that this collaboration is so different is because I have crossed social media barriers. Normally collaborations are held between two YouTube channels. That way you can go over and see this person's YouTube channel where they create it and their viewers can come over and see my creation. Today, that's not the case. For this collaboration, we'll unite YouTube and Instagram. <laughs> For a long time now, I have been a huge fan of the artist of Hope Hokulani. If you have not checked out Hope's Instagram page, highly recommend it, especially if you like mermaids and fantasy art and sketching, she does beautiful work. So I had the crazy idea, wouldn't it be fun to do a collaboration with an Instagram artist? And I was really excited when Hope agreed to do this collaboration with me. So what exactly is the theme of our collaboration? Well, both Hope and I love drawing mermaids. So we decided we would each draw a mermaid. We would pick a mermaid environment and a favorite color. Hope's challenge for me was an Arctic environment, and she wanted to see bright blues and whites in contrast. And when I thought about it, I really hadn't done an Arctic mermaid piece since I drew my first mermaid coloring book set, and that I never created a video for. So this was super inspirational to do a fun Arctic mermaid piece. The first thing I did was Google a whole bunch of images of underwater glaciers because I wanted a really cool like sea ice cave kind of look. And originally when I was creating the piece, I wanted to do a narwhal mermaid. So I have a mermaid with this really cool narwhal horn surrounded by all these narwhals. Narwhals? Narwhals? Narwhals. I think they're narwhals. Mm. You guys can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, which happens quite a lot. As I was sketching this out, I realized that either I would have to make the narwhals really far away from her, or she was just going to be this ginormous mermaid. So even though I love narwhals, I decided to substitute narwhals for penguins, which I love penguins too. I also thought they're really great contrast, how black and white would go well with the deep blue and white of this picture. As for a list of tools and supplies that I used, I will have links to those in the description box below. But basically, I used a mixed media paper, a cool erase color pencil for the sketching, a Copic multiliner in a cool gray to outline everything, and then my Copics and gel pens to do all the coloring. And in the end, I really like how this piece turned out. So what, you may be asking, was the challenge that I gave to Hope? I pushed my challenge a little bit with her. I think I gave her one more element in her challenge than she gave me just because I'm a nice person. The environment that I chose for Hope's drawing was in the shallows of the ocean. So it could be tide pools. It could be just more of the shallow coral reefs area. I kind of left that up to her. I told her I really loved the green purple kind of color scheme. And for an extra bonus, can she do it? I said tiny hermit crabs would be great. So I don't know if she was able to work the tiny hermit crabs in there. I'm kind of curious to see. So though you won't be able to see a video where she creates this piece, I highly recommend that you go over and check out her Instagram page. For those of you who don't have an Instagram account, you actually don't need one to look at Instagram pictures. You can do that by following the link that I have in the description box below. It'll take you to her page. But if you guys do have Instagram, follow her. She has some of the most fantastic mermaids I've ever seen. 
and is one of the artists that I will quite regularly go through her pictures when I'm feeling a lack of inspiration or motivation. Her artwork is super amazing. If you enjoy her work, I also will link her YouTube channel, though she doesn't upload very much on YouTube. She's mostly an Instagram artist. She has thrown up a couple of videos where she shows the creation process, and they're definitely worth a watch. And who knows? If you give her a lot of love and comments and pleases and who knows, she may decide to upload some more YouTube videos in the future. All in all, this was a super fun collaboration to do, and I'm kind of excited to find other artists out there who maybe aren't YouTube artists, maybe they're Instagram artists or Tumblr artists or just no artists out there that I can work with. Hey, if this challenge sounded fun to you, I challenge you to do the same thing. You can either take the challenge that I gave Hope or the one that Hope gave me and create your own picture. Make sure to tag me or Hope in your Instagram photos, or you can post them on my Facebook page. Well, thank you guys for hanging out with me. If you're brand new to my channel, welcome. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future videos. And as always, God bless you guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Do you know I actually wave at the camera every time I say bye-bye? So you're actually getting me to wave at you. Sometimes you can even hear the creaking of my wrists when I wave. Oh, that was me hitting the microphone. Okay, bye.